So we all have our purses out right now. If, if you needed to find something to save a life right now, could you find anything in there? Possibly. Possibly. Yes. I, I'm going to say probably not for, my, for me. Our current organizer, Chris Stone, is with us right now. And we're talking purses. And I'm guessing yours is incredibly organized. Well, the trick to keeping a purse organi organized is purging it at least once a week. So, yes, mine is organized because once a week I empty it all out, put away the, the business cards that you've been collecting, uh, deal with your receipt because receipt clutter is a big one and only keeping your essentials in here and making sure you have the pockets so that you're not always looking for things. Like this has a side pocket for my phone. If, if you have a purse that has no pockets, it becomes the, the bottomless pit. Okay, so. Which describes my purse all <laughs> This is a big purse. And, yes. I, and I carry actually another bag along with this that looks like this. But um, I think mine is worse than yours, but let's take a look at I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Uh, it's pretty bad. I don't know if we're able to kind of show without everything falling out. Um, but I mean, I've got a koozie, I've got gum, I've got my wallet, and you just mentioned business cards. And yes. I'm and really embarrassed to show this. But that's why purging every week is important because people do collect things throughout the week and they don't need anything in their bag but their essentials. So if, if once a week you purge it and get out all the things that you really don't need that aren't your essentials, it'll be easier and lighter to carry. You know, if I could share one tip, and I'm certainly not qualified as an organizer, but I can just tell you one thing that has worked for me lately, finding my keys. Have you seen these lately in the store? Oh, I love I those. have one. Okay, <laughs> because you can feel it, it's a pom-pom, so that's about the only thing I can get to quickly in my purse but other than that I've got maybe it's just too tight do you think well I think it's the opening isn't big enough and you have a lot of items so you might need a little bit bigger bag so you're not always trying to find stuff I, I mean really just pick out what your true essentials are you know I mean I have a notepad that I keep with a pen my hand sanitizer you know you, you keep your mints but you don't need to keep everything in the kitchen sink in your bag try to get travel sizes of things so that you don't have large items that's smart that is smart so other things that I have in here and I think we should play a little game of like let's like make a deal does anybody have a potato peeler I don't I don't by the way but yeah <laughs> But oh, I'm nervous about what you're going to pull yeah. out. Well, but see, I don't even know what this is because see, it's, it's stuck, stuck on it's your stuck side. It's stuck to the, side. to the bag. Oh this is actually supposed to go on my phone and hold all of those business cards. Right. But where is it? It's stuck to the right. side. Exactly. So <laughs> that just goes to show you. And then as far as a wallet goes, do you carry a large wallet? Well, I carry a large wallet, but it zips. That way everything's not falling out of it. And yes, I do have compartments in here as well. And I did buy my lottery tickets, speaking of lottery <laughs> tickets. And I keep things separate. And once a week, I take out all the old receipts. I scan them into my computer. I only keep the credit cards that I absolutely need in my purse. And the ones that I do keep, I make photocopies of in case my wallet is stolen. I'll know which ones were in my wallet. So keeping a wallet organized is just as essential as keeping your purse organized. That's amazing. How do you scan those receipts? Do you there are so program, many different or? apps. There are apps on your phone that you just take a picture of the receipt and it sends right into a folder on your computer. There are uh, neat receipts that you'll bring them home and just scan them through. There are so many options, but it's so much better to scan your receipts because you don't have those big stacks. You're just an amazing. You, I've never thought of that. She's amazing. She is. I mean, <laughs> I just knew that you would be able to pull. I had no idea your wallet itself though would be as organized as yeah. that. Yes. Too. Now, can we hire you once a week to come organize our sure, purses for us? Just, if, if somebody would like though to reach out to Chris through Neatly Design. You have a beautiful Instagram page, a beautiful blog, Thank and you. we are linking to it so everybody can easily access that Thanks. at RiverCityLiveTV.com, and you click on the As Seen on RCL tab. Now, let's just pretend we have all of these purses okay. and many, many more. How about next week we talk about ways to actually organize the purse itself? In the closet. In the Perfect. closet. Yes. It's a date? It's a date. I like okay. that idea. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. We'll be back.